West Ham Fan TV still outside the bowling ground with one of our regulars. Dom, Dom, come on, man. You've got to have a, a little speech for me or something. Ah, oh, relief. Really? That's, that sounds like that game. First half, terrible. Absolutely disgusting. Uh, the red card for them helped in our favour. And we capitalised our pressure. We made everything count. And we ta I'll take a scrappy win. Do you, do you think that Avila were on top before that red card? Oh, yeah, no doubt about it. We started appallingly. And it could have, like, I was just waiting for a goal. They got the red card, and that's, that was a turning point for them. I didn't see the red card, but I presume it's obviously an off-the-ball incident. Yeah. I don't care. We've won tonight. We had to win tonight. It's a massive, massive win. Still intact with the top uh, top five, top six space. Definitely, Definitely really we're still in now. This, I mean, the first half, there weren't really much chance he was there, really. No, it was a, like I say, a yeah. first half, I was going up my nut. If, I, if we didn't win tonight, I'd be walking away absolutely fuming. You can't accept a point against Villa. No disrespect, they're not a good side. They're bottom of the league. They've won two games all season. So it's very important we had to win. It was a potential banana skin tonight. In the past, we'd have probably balls this up. But no, we haven't. We can't wait the win. Yeah, that's the difference. I mean, you're right there. Probably last season, we'd have lost this one nil or drew nil nil. You know, that's the difference this season. But we went for it. Antonio, great header. What's a finish? You know, Antonio, I think he's he's sort of a complete player, isn't he? He's a winger. He's He's got pace. He's strength. He's an aerial threat as well. It's the three goals this season. Yeah. Really great header, brilliant. I didn't even think of goal in. I think he's ending it across the box. But I mean, I'll after, take that, after anyway. that, we were definitely knocking on the door. Noble, what a strike. Masterclass. I, I completely agree um, in being man of the match. Someone behind me actually disagreed. I can't believe it. Uh, yeah, absolute masterclass. Best performance by him in a long time. Fantastic. And then, and then Aaron Creswell as well. It won. Just went past the post. Oh, he's magic, isn't he? Then we don't sing that song for nothing, yeah, do we? Uh, yeah, one of the best left backs in the league. And it baffles me how Jesse Lingard gets an England call up and then two don't. I mean, if Roy Hodgson's watched this game tonight, put that in your diary. Have a think, mate, because they were two yeah. outstanding tonight. He overlooks us. He don't like players in Claret and Blue, it looks Silly like. Silly deluded out, and I hope he goes. <laughs> so do I, mate, so do I. But then, right at the end, check Kyoe, we was knocking on the door, knocking on the door, and then Kyoe pops up with that we lovely finish. Goal, didn't we? Because, well, we never make it easy, do we? And all of a sudden, Villa was sort of knocking on the door. Needed that second goal to settle the nerves. Good finish, good finish. Lovely little counter-attacking move. We've just deserved that. I think it was one of them games, people turning up today was expecting a three or four. I was one of them. I thought Villa was there to take him, but they done a, they done a good job on Payet tonight. He was very quiet. They defended well because they had five at the back, but I think we... We played a bit like Barcelona, passing the ball around, but our finishing was at the standards of Millwall. You know what I mean? <laughs> We're passing the ball so well, and with Song of the Sea, we passed it around yeah. so much better. One thing I will say as well, Pia, I don't, I'm not a fan of him out wide. No. He's uh, one of the best centre attack midfielders in the league, if not the world. <laughs> and he's just out this world, so he's a bit wasted on the yeah. left, to be honest. I think once you see players like Lanzini come back, we'll see Pia push more in the middle. Yeah, them two are false together, they'll cause everyone problems. But listen, three points. Points. On the ball. We move on Southampton on the Saturday now. If we're going to balls the game up, I hope it's Saturday because I'd rather have a cut run. Southampton's just a one game, I think. I'd say uh, take it easy Saturday. I mean, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. We've got to beat Liverpool because we've got a nice little tie, Blackburn away. Obviously, it's not going to be easy because they knocked out two Premier League teams last year. But I'd rather go through in the FA Cup than win and not go through on uh, Saturday. And the thing is with Liverpool here, it's another night under the lights. Not many more here, you know what I mean? So we've got to enjoy this. Right? Yeah, well, the more the merrier, you know. I mean, this is the famous soul ground. I mean, I love, I absolutely love evenings like this. This is just sums it up. Brilliant Definitely. result under the lights. Definitely. Famous old crowd. Yeah, like you said, we're not going to get many of these anymore, so we've got to just take them as they come. But Dom, thank you so much for joining us again, mate. You're a fucking legend. Love you, mate. <laughs> come on, you are.